diddles. So I was searching through my comments because, you know, looking for material so I can film. Bubs went to go play with a friend across the street. Adam is at work. Um, mama. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna make you make your ears bleed. I could though. Don't get me started on Disney songs on long car rides because your girl here. It don't even matter. Um, <laughs> I was looking through the comments, and I'm sorry I can't say your name because it is in a different language or a funny font, and I'm thinking it's a language. But you know how some of those weird like uh, the block fonts make it almost seem like another Any anyways the point is I can't read the name but they didn't say anything about this it was just clutch dash space grass and I was like I don't know it stood out and I was like sorry I had a hiccup I was like let me see <laughs> Because I'm so professional. Don't know how to edit. Don't know how to do anything. But just sit in front of a camera and listen to music. And give just my complete personal opinionated thoughts. Hi, I'm Z. Nice to meet you. So, um, I was like, let me type it in an apple and see if it's there. And it totally was. And it looks kind of cool. I've never heard of this band. No one's ever asked for it before. Um, wait a minute. Why does it say right here I have? Okay, so I have heard of this before. I reacted to Clutch Give Me the Keys. Oh, I bet. I bet. It was um, that countdown list from Loudwire. I bet that's what it was. That's where I know him from. But still, he asked for it. He probably wishes I'd go ahead and just get to the damn thing. So without further ado, let's get into it. That sounded like a really weird foghorn leghorn accent. Okay. I'm immediately thinking of a... Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Foxy Lady. I don't know. Everyone's gonna come for me. They're like, no! This is fucking creepy. Galaxy 500 out the way. Stars green. Gotta go. Dodge Swinger 1973. Top down. Chassis low. Panel dim. Light drive. Jesus on the dashboard. The dashboard. <laughs> I started paying attention to the lyrics more when he said chassis, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> hmm. T minus whenever it feels right. Galaxy 500. Planets align. A king is born Whenever it feels right Whenever it feels right Whenever it feels right I have a couple of issues right here Which everyone who is um, fans of the band is probably going to call me out for I'm just not used to this But it sounds to me like Either that guitar is just, like, not being natural right now. They're, like, putting it through something. Or it's just, like, extremely out of tune. 
the drums are really really harsh and the the vocals sound almost like they're muffled and but they're being echoed at the same time like it's not clear and it's not layered very well it's not um it's not blending nicely to me it everything is being put in and it seems kind of like harsh in a way Dodge Swinger 1973 flaps down like I get the vocal effect during this part but when it it comes into the you know the full-on sound I think it sh I think it should change chassis free Buzz Aldrin Armstrong or maybe just me don't worry it's coming don't worry, it's coming. Jesus on the dashboard, oh yeah! Whenever it feels right, whenever it feels right, whenever it feels right. So you know how, okay, think of three, three spheres, okay, three bubbles, right, just, fl just free floating, and it seems like, um, like, here's vocals, here's guitar, guitar and bass, should I put them both in there, and then here's drums, and whenever one hits, it's like they're doing this, right, and it's like they're, they're fighting, but they're not blending, it's not, it's just like, you're being hit but it's like it's not creating anything in the middle so it's almost like you have this blank space and there's not really any depth going on so, and I, it really bugs me that they kept that vocal effect even in the full-on bits where like the whole band kind of comes alive together I don't know Sun cruising, climbing, Jupiter Cyclops winks at me. Yeah, he knows who's driving, hitting neutral in the tail of a comet. Let the vortex pull my weight, push the seat back a little lower. Watch life bend in the blower. Planets align. A king is born. Dodge Swinger. Okay, 
I said before, before the drums just picked up right there and started doing an extra two-step, if you will, it, it just, it seemed like there was so much blank space. And, and like I said, nothing is being worked together. It's like, you do this, you do this, you do this, and then we'll just do whatever. Do Are both boys at my house right now? What the fuck? You know what happens when you're like, yeah, you can go over to Eli's house, and then... They somehow both end up at your house. together towards the end or if I was slowly being brainwashed into like accepting <laughs> this if, if I had to like put this into a genre I would say like primitive rock because it seems it, it seems like it it's done before a lot of it seems like just very creative people had this vision and they knew what they wanted and they put it down and this this is what it was this was the raw organic primitive sound um <laughs> which is kind of cool in a way i'm seeing like a lot of stoners really getting into this in the 90s like i don't know for some reason that's just what i see it's just like the 90s but i don't know anything about this band um Oh, that's kind of, they're playing Call of Duty. I hear gunshots. See, the tip with kids is they're fine when you can hear them. It's when they go quiet. You really need to worry. But, and some of you might be asking, well, why did you listen to it for six minutes of your life if you didn't like it? Well, it's because the artist deserves respect, honestly. Like, if they're going to put their time and effort and pretty much their heart, soul, blood, sweat, tears into this, at least I can listen to it. Because a lot of times, I have found, through doing this, by the end of the song, you can piece together what they were trying to accomplish more so than listening to the first minute of it, saying, I don't like it, and going on your way. So, I can see the appeal, and like I said, towards the end, where the drums really started to fill in that space and kind of, like, pick up, it blended it. So, it's not necessarily... It's not my vibe, not my journey. I had a child tell me that the other day at Bob's Christmas party. Not my vibe, not my journey. And I was like, I think I said that not too long ago. I'm going to start using that again. Kids, man. Kids. So now I have to go be a responsible parent and go make sure they don't, I don't know, hurt themselves? I don't know. Whatever normal people do. 